Good morning, girls. Have you laid us any tasty eggs for breakfast? Looks like the grass is going to need cutting again, doesn't it, Dom? Yep. Have we got any eggs? Yeah, we've got three of them. Three eggs? Oh, the way comes dash. It's all right, just grab them. I'm, I'm holding the lid. Let go of this hand, that's it. There we go. Let's have a look at those little beauties. Very nice. So, third of May, so they'll be our day. Yep, 3rd of May, just write 3rd of May on them and the pen with the pencil, we know what day they're from. Pencil. You know it's Nanny's birthday tomorrow? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Where do we start this morning? That's actually a good question. I think we start where we left off last night and maybe just finish off the the logo. I bloody love it. I must say I bloody love it. Uh, but first things first, I could do with a coffee. Massively do with a coffee. So, uh, oh, that's a good idea. I'll get the paint on this wall here, the grey. Then I can push the kitchen sink and everything back in. And that's effectively complete. So when there is no rain outside, this wall's fine. You can see how dry it all is down here. And uh, nothing coming through. I filled most of the gaps, but what I will try and do at some point is uh, get round into the garden, which is the other side of this window. Me and Stuart went round yesterday and had a look, and yes, it is the lean-to causing an issue. With uh, It's got no flashing against the wall, it's just got bench cement, so maybe just a couple of coats of bitumen paint, because it's not my property around there. Uh, and I don't want it, somebody's garden, so I don't want to mess it up too much. But a couple of paints of bitumen, uh, coats of bitumen paint should solve it. But even if we're just here five years, folks, I can live with a bit of a leaky wall for five years. We'll call it uh, Retford Springs, a bit like Peckham Springs. And that's like where the broom water comes from. So we need rain, we need rain. It's like the weeping wall of Retford water. enjoying a uh, chicken boona from Aldi which I pinged in the microwave and a full fat coca-cola sugar tax my arse got a lot of it painted I put some window boards in the uh, windows I see I popped a couple of window boards in in there and uh, just sealed it up and then I've patched up underneath the little bits of cement. Again, it just feels like I keep finding gaps and going back and having to patch up. So I've just got these patches to paint. And once we've got the grey paint on those patchy bits, then uh, I'm ready to sweep up in this area and hopefully just kick over a tin of paint just on this section and uh, get some red paint down on the floor so we can finish one side of the unit and we know that it's done and ready to go. Am I going to do that today though? It's two o'clock. Gives me an hour to drop down the floor paint. That's touch and go. You know they say time flies when you're having fun but nobody ever explains why it goes so fast when you're doing boring things like vacuuming up and painting. We've got this section vacked up. All the walls painted, logo on, no floor paint. 
I haven't got round to it. But it's time to go and get the kids. Frick's sakes. So Abigail was playing in her lovely little doll's house when all of a sudden, out of the blue, there was a visitor who came to say hello to the dolls. Would you look at the size of the little fella? He looks cute though, doesn't he, Abs? Yeah, she says. She weren't saying cute a minute ago, were you? Oh. I think he's got a leg missing. I think. Abby's, the Abby's made me some cardboard. Because we're not going to kill him. We're just going to slide him onto the cardboard. And we're going to take him out. For inspection later on. Come on then, Mr. Spider. Let's go. Well the day's definitely not finished for me. I feel like I want to do something. The grass needs cutting for a start. Uh, but because it's sunny outside, I'm going to do something that's a quintessential British pastime. And that is hang your laundry outside. Now, we used to have a rotary uh, area out there. And it snapped. So we've not had a washing line for quite a while. We've got actually lines hung up in the, uh, in the porch. As you can see, clothes hung on the lines in the porch. But when it's a sunny day, that's not doing us any favours. So Gemma's bought a new rotary aerer, as you can see here, from Wilco's. And uh, she's also picked up the rock solid ground screw. So we're going to see how this stands up. One problem, sandy, stony ground. Well, we'll just play it by ear. I think bang a pilot, pilot all in with a stake. We'll see if we can drill it in. <laughs> what on earth? What on <laughs> earth, madam? <laughs> Are you teasing the chickens? Yeah. yeah. Right, well, the soil isn't completely dry, so I think that's sort of a good spot for it. About four foot away from the path, in front of the chicken pen. And a considerable amount of space away from this fence, so we're not going to get caught up there. So I think I'm just going to have a go and see if I can just drive it straight in. Are you ready? Yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> what do you think? Can I do something? No, because you have to push down really hard. I can try. You're not heavy enough, sweetie. Okay. Oh, the green thing's spinning. So you just put that all the way in? Yeah. Until put all your weight on it. Until it's to the top. Watch out, and you stood in front of the camera. Sorry. It's kind of working. Yeah, and it's awesome. We've got really stony ground here. Yeah, so it'll stay up. Won't it? Well, I didn't think it'd screw in. Because of all the stones. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Yay. Oh my gosh. Well, I've been proved wrong. Like I said, I didn't think it'd do it. But it did. It certainly did. Right. The trick is, try and get this below Dad, ground level. The, right. Maybe the assistant for Dad. She is. Hmm. Right, so we've got the Valida Viva 45 meter. Yep. And uh, it comes, this is the Valida job in. This is the Wilco's ground spike. 
so where uh, the ground spike comes with all these inserts so it would appear that each one goes in on top like of so, each other like this Woo! and be careful yeah this. i'm not sure about be this very very careful abs <laughs> well, i don't know though it work. could be enough and like i could do these one ones so I'm just not sure about that, getting that spike in the ground far enough, but I reckon we've cracked it, chicken. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. but we don't know what this is for. Not yet. Well, I would have recorded cutting the grass and trimming the little lavatrine area for chance, but I'm sure people know that uh, the struggle is real and trimming around dog mines takes a special kind of... Uh, Gardener. Well, Gemma's outside inspecting my handiwork, or not. It's got a bit of a, a canter onto her, hasn't it? I'm surprised it went in that stony ground. Hold on a minute. If I tilt the camera, it's straight. That's it. Figured it out. Well, I'm not sure that I can contain the excitement of today, so I'm going to have my daily dose of three counties runny honey. Mmm. Oh, I'll be. We'll see you tomorrow. We're in for another. There you go, Jam. Happy May the third. Oh. I love May the 3rd. Enjoy your Prosecco, it's... <laughs> <laughs>